Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Would you like to create your own form like this? Stay tuned. All right, I'm going to go to the Create tab. Form design. Change the background color. Select the text box. Delete the label. Select the text box. Change to 18 font. Center. We want the font color white. And the background, let's give it a dark color. Make this larger. Next thing you want to do is create a button. It's in form design. Button. Call this mail. Rename the button to BT in mail selected the button let's go to the event tab on the on click event select code builder this takes us to our VBA editor selected the button Let's go to the event tab on the on click event. Select code builder. This takes us to our VBA editor. We need to go to the tools menu, references. We need to Go to the Microsoft Excel object library and the Microsoft Speech object library. Check both of those. First thing you want to do is get to the computer to say something. So you're going to use the speech function. Let's say speech dot speak. Let's say testing. Okay. So when I press the button, the computer is going to say testing. Oh, it's probably because say application. So, application, speech, see if that works. Testing. There you go. Now, instead of, instead of us putting testing here in our code, we want to refer to our message box. Let's 
So we need to rename this message box, uh, message text box. Go back to button event. Let's put in me, which is the name of the form, and the name of the object dot value. So it's going to say whatever we have in our message box. Save this. We are now testing. Press the button. We are now testing. All right. Next thing we want to do is we want to, we want to find out how many voices we have in our computer. So if I click design view, we still have our button selected. Go to, I'm going to create a variable. So dim V as integer. I'm going to set V. equal to the application Excel application dot speech dot get voices dot count. So it'll it'll tell us how many voices are on a computer and it will set that value to B. And I want to it to tell me how many voices there are. Let me just comment out this. Sometimes is it like that? Let's see what happens. Okay. Try again. You have zero voices on this computer. Zero voices. Ah, I know what I didn't do. Oh, that's not it. I need to set. I need to create a. I forgot to create a, a variable called speech. Get rid of this. Yeah, sorry about that. It should work now. 
You have two voices on this computer. So it's telling us we have two voices. So the first voice is the male voice. And the male voice is... Male voice is zero. Item zero. Test it again. You have two voices on this computer. So if we change that zero to a one, we should get the other voice. You have two voices on this computer. You have two voices on this computer. You have two voices on this computer. That's what we did wrong. Okay. So that's the female voice. So I'm going to copy this. Create a new button. So it's the female is uh, as item one for female voice. The male is zero. So I'm gonna comment out this. I'm comment out that. Let's see. We are now testing. We are now testing. There we go. If you enjoyed the content of this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.